Monica, Monica Rad, as you, most of you guys may know me. Hi, I'm Brianna, but you can call me Brie. Mon Brianna Jane. Brianna Jane. Or BJ, as I like to call her. Yeah, but you can call me Brie, and I'm <laughs> going to call her Mon, because Monica yeah. is weird. To call yeah, her. Mon and Brie. Yeah, Mon and Brie. <laughs> we, we go way back, we've known each other for about 10 years now. Yeah. And um, I'm a psychologist, and Mon has her background in psychology as well. Yeah, we met at uni. Yeah, met at uni. First... First crack, day, yeah. I think, yeah. First, day. First biology <laughs> of psychology class. Yeah. Brie asked to sit next to us. And I was like, yep, yeah, seats free. And then we pretty much fell in love. I always say, yeah, we fell in love. Love at first sight. And that was oh. in 2009. So 10 years, years ago. Yeah, 10 years oh my ago. God. So we both studied psychology. Brie continued her education and she's an accredited psychologist. I left after my final year. I graduated, I've got my honors degree in psych, but then obviously modeling and then Miss Universe and this whole other career opened up for me, which I'm so grateful for. But my passion in psychology is still there. Yes, so and this is and this is a good way for you to be able to, I guess, talk about things you're passionate about. Yeah. And some of the things that we want to cover, I guess you are gonna have a really unique kind of perspective on because you are sometimes the girl that women are looking to and girls are looking at. So it'd be nice to hear some truth from you yeah. as well. As oh, to so what's the modeling world and Miss Universe world and yeah. Instagram and all that kind of stuff. What's that? What's the truth behind all that stuff? Yeah. And the, the pressures that I face and that, you know, for me, this is really exciting because it's like a platform that I can talk to you all and be real and show, I guess, the reality of life, regardless of, regardless of where you are or what kind of career you're in. And, yeah. you know, some people, like you said, do see me on Instagram and they think, or they may think that, I'm without flaws or I'm so confident in myself in every facet and it's just not true. Like I'm as, as normal as everybody else. So I yeah. think it's going to be great to shed a light on that. And then I guess we both have taken different paths, but I guess what we have in common is that we want to be, um, I guess a positive, positive influence to everyone that comes, um, across us in life and we, and we want to yeah. leave people, um, knowing that we've made a difference and a positive one. We're here, we're so excited. It's our first ever vlog, which is so surreal to say, isn't it? And can't believe it's actually <sighs> happening. Yeah. I am Me either. this nervous. I know, I am too. But can I tell you guys, sorry, we've been saying this for ages, like we've got to start a YouTube channel because we've got so much we want to talk about. Yeah. And we've been putting it off because of busy lives, which, okay, fair enough. Yes, we've both gotten married in the last year. Uh -huh. I've been on a deserted island for two months. <laughs> Work has been crazy yeah, for both of us. But that is so not the only reason that we haven't started this. No, like, we, let's uh, be real. Yeah, real, real talk. <laughs> real talk. Uh, we're nervous. So scared. You've done, you've done camera stuff before, but this, yes. is, this is foreign to me. This is yes. You know what? Even though I've been in front of the camera so much and I love it, it's a great part of my job. This is really putting myself out there, like my whole heart and my passions and. Like for me, what's scary is, will I have anything valuable to say? I just don't want everyone watching us to think, oh gosh, like what crap are you guys talking about? But, yeah. but at the same time, I think we've got a lot of like really important things to talk about and to say. So it's not, not, it's not about us. And that's what I was telling you. Yes. This is not about us. conversation this morning. Yes. My so, pep talk. My pep to me, because uh, <laughs> even driving here this morning, I have been really nervous. And definitely one of the reasons this has been put off yeah. is is my nerves. I do a lot of public speaking. Um, I talk in front of all sorts of different people. Um, but the thought of a camera recording me doing this, is even though it's scary. in my apartment, like just yeah, us, we, this is where we normally hang out. My cat Charlie is watching us from behind the camera, which you guys yeah. can't see. But it's so relaxed. But yeah. it's funny yeah. that that for you speaking in front of thousands hmm. is way less intimidating than doing this. And why yeah. do you think that is? I don't know. I think I've always been not comfortable in front of the camera. My mum will tell you she has none of my school photos. I yeah. don't didn't like school photos at school. And yeah, I just cameras camera shy, I guess you could say that. Yeah. So I'm but conquering my fears. I'm fe being totally fearless. Are. You are. Okay. We, you are being fearless, being fearless and fearlessly female. That's who we are. Yeah. Took us a while to come up with that name, didn't it? Ages. Because we wanted something that really resonated. That was just about embracing the strength of being a woman. Yes. And overcoming the angst and the worries that women have. And the multitude. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, sometimes being a strong woman is frowned upon. So we want to really um, acknowledge that it's okay to tackle life and, and be 
courageous and, and be vulnerable and you know be fearless and whatever anxieties are holding us back we're gonna um, break through them break through them yeah. yeah I love that and like it's I'm just so excited even now as we're talking about this because it's I just think it's really important and we're gonna put things out to you guys and talk about you know being really honest about our own personal journey and struggles that we've gone through yeah like that's that's what I'm really excited about just being real and yeah. open and honest and you know hearing from you as well about what you want us to talk about and you know your comments and questions that you may have exactly Hey Mom, why don't you tell everyone? Because everyone, I guess, thinks they know you pretty well. Yes. Yeah. You know, they've been following you probably for, for ages. Why don't you tell everyone something that would surprise them about you? Um, oh my gosh. Why don't you tell them something that, because you know me very well. I, I do. I and then I know. think about something that may surprise them about you. Okay. I suppose, I All right. Well, something that might surprise you about Monica. So her sunny disposition <laughs> is like this, but that's actually who she is as a person. So she's very positive. Um, very try. motivating and if there's anything ever going on in my life and I need a pep talk or I need a positive spin on something oh. I call on because I know that when I get off the phone I'm gonna be feeling motivated if I was being negative or pessimistic about something I've got the eternal optimist here so that's something that might surprise you so it's not you know this gorgeous smile is I guess a, a representation of the stuff happening on the inside. That's so sweet. Oh, that's okay. Thanks, honey. That's all right. But you know, it's funny that you say that because for right. me, well, you know how they say like, what, what what's that saying? Um, you you your I forgot the saying now, but it's basically you can dish out the advice to everyone but yourself. Yes. So that's how I feel about myself because I'm so, and I really am um, an optimist. Yeah, definitely. But don't get me wrong, like I've got my negative days and I, I'm my worst critic and I'm my biggest judge in a sense, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to delve into. That's what I really want everyone to see, even though you, like that's so beautiful that you said that. I'm not perfect and it's a lot harder for me to be positive about myself and to be my best encourager than it is with my beautiful girlfriends who I love so much and I can see so much beauty and passion and driving you know i think that's i think that's what it is um okay but i was thinking of as you were giving me that beautiful compliment yeah something about you okay. so i mean I'm there are so many things no but the first thing that popped in my mind yeah. which is funny but it's 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 funny um is that brie here loves donuts yeah they are her all to the point where on her wedding she didn't have a wedding cake she had a donut tower yes that's <laughs> important that you know about me yeah. Like yes, everything, yes. when it comes to special occasions, I just know that donuts are your jam. I gave I gave donuts up recently for forty days, <gasps> just a religious thing. Yeah, and I was so excited to have a donut. Have you had one yet? Yeah, I had two. Oh my god. Yeah, and I also love milkshakes as well. So you, heaven is like a donut <laughs> and a milkshake together. Um. Okay. So mine would never, <laughs> never. Yes, I have no sugar, no sugar donuts. Oh, you have keto. Because no, well, I've just decided to cut out sugar because for me, yeah. and this is another thing we'll delve into. You know the kinds of foods and how they can impact you positively and negatively. And for me, yeah. sugar, like once I start, I honest to God cannot stop, and it just it was like it became a vicious cycle. So yeah. something to help my my health has been to cut out sugar. I know you that's good. You haven't, but it's yeah. it's been great. Like I don't feel like I'm limiting myself in any no, way. And the things you eat are delicious. Yeah. Yeah, and I've, tried your, I've tried your version of a donut and it's fine. Yes, there are so many alternatives. Yeah. But this is not this is not what we're talking about today. So no, no. don't worry. Stay tuned for all that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, but something else I love about you, Bree, is just... I could say the same thing for you. Like, you know, you've got those people that you can call upon and you know they're going to give you such sound advice and they're going to settle you down regardless of how nervous or anxious or stressed out you are. And that's who you are to me. You're like my pillar. And it's true. Like, you really ground me and... It's really like I feel like our friendship is really rare because I just oh. I value you and your opinion and your your position and on things you know on in life. Thanks, mom. And I think we'll be friends forever. And it really was it was love at first sight it how was. we met. Yeah, definitely love you. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> so cheesy, but it's true. Um, okay, but maybe we don't tell each other enough how important people are to us. No, like that's not a conversation we would have regularly. No. So we need to do that more often. Yeah, that's and true. We need, yeah. And, that's I, and that's something, you know, gratitude is a big oh part gosh. of happiness. And I guess as a psychologist, I, I don't, if you haven't heard of it, positive psychology is, is a big part of, I guess, my practice. And gratitude is a big part of 
positive psychology and if you want to be happier it's about being grateful for what you have and who you have um yeah. and people you know come into session and ask them what's their goals and most of the time it's just to be happier and wow one of the quickest ways of doing that is looking around and reminding yourself every day what you're grateful for and who you're grateful for and what you actually do have that is so true yeah. because i feel like a lot of us we see happiness as i'll be happy if and when you yeah. know instead of well, why are you happy right now in the moment okay fair enough you may have not reached a particular goal that you've got in mind but what about what you do have and i think like actually if you look at look around you we have so many things to be grateful for it's the name of the the name of the female yeah. that's, that that's, that took us a while it took us a while to come up with that yeah. but i guess the, the the kind of reasoning behind it is that being a female and being a woman there's lots of anxieties that come with that totally. and I think navigating that can be really scary sometimes um, and we want to be honest and we want to be transparent about our own um, take on those kind of things and we want to hear from you guys as well about some of um, those anxieties that you've come across and how you've been fearless in, in conquering those. Yeah, and um, any questions you may have, send them in. We want to yeah, hear, we, we want really, to talk about it. Yeah, like I really want to build a tribe and, and empower us. Yeah. As you know, I feel like even just talking to you, I feel empowered. And you know, when we go through these kind of like topics that we talk about, yeah. and I just want to leave everybody else feeling empowered. Like just, I want to be relatable and I want everyone to finish watching this and be like, yeah, I can do this. I'm, I'm a boss. Yeah, we're going to be any, anything that kind of is resonating with us or maybe it's coming out in my practice or maybe in the media. In the media. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Um, or if it's something you guys want to pose to us or questions that you want us to, to discuss and hey, we are not experts in everything. That's right. Um, actually we're probably yeah. experts in a few things. <laughs> um, so, you know, we're not claiming to, to be able to solve life's problems and, oh, definitely not. Definitely. or anything like that, but what we are, I guess, um, we're enthusiastic and we're passionate and we we're educated and neither of us would talk about anything that we haven't gone and become educated in and, and be able to bring to you guys. So, yeah. um, and we'll seek e expert opinions if, if we can't answer questions. Yeah. Um, but, and everything else is our opinions and you know, the opinions that I give here are ones that I may have, uh, you know, helped, uh, may have helped me in the past with certain topics and certain, you know, issues that I've gone through. So sh anything that we share here, it's just about hoping to uplift you guys and to give you some sort of like positive influence back. Yeah, exactly. So that's, I guess that's what this that's is about. Yeah, that's what this is about. Mon and Brie. <laughs> Oh, the topics we haven't talked about, the kind of topics we'll be delving yeah, into. Okay. okay, so one big thing for me is body positivity and lack thereof. I think well, that's so important to talk about. And you asked your followers what they yes. wanted you to talk about, what us to talk about. Yes. And that was overwhelmingly one of the most totally common answers. Mm -hmm. It was about... Um, I, well, it was so much about disliking yourself or, you know, how Mon is the way she is or what what's she eating or you know what diets is she following and, and all of that yeah. kind of stuff so there was a lot of questions about um i guess some insecurities that people had so um overwhelmingly uh self-esteem body image um, all of that kind of stuff is something yeah. that we're going to cover definitely um i'm a psychologist my passions are in mental health and supporting people with mental illness so that's something that we're going to cover too and something that your followers um, mentioned as well um, anxiety and but everyone kind of goes through this and mm -hmm. having someone like you here to actually give us critical feedback and advice like a practical advice that we can actually apply in our daily lives mm -hmm. I think is so crucial and so wonderful that you know we can Thanks. utilize you free oh, really? yeah. Thank you for but using me <laughs> <laughs> but we're looking forward to getting some videos out for you guys yes we've finally done we're it we're taking the plunge <laughs> And we look forward to whatever this turns out to be. Yeah. Um, and we are excited that you're on the journey with us. Yeah, we so really are. Thanks for, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, and we'll see you next time on a talking about our first topic. Yeah. Woo! Bye. <laughs>